Hello, sports fans and baseball fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, and I am here again to talk about the Chicago White Sox season, the epically bad Chicago White Sox season. I got the standings up on the board, uh, as you can see, and the AL Central particularly, and you can see that the White Sox are 6-26, and having lost to the St. Louis Cardinals. And I believe they've been shut out eight times now. Shut out eight times in the first 32 games of the season. So, um, yeah, that's not very good. Um, now, to give fair credit, because I'm going to compare them to the 1962 Mets, and in the 1962 Mets at game 32 were 12 and 20. So the White Sox are very, very bad in comparison to the 1962 Mets. But if we scroll down a little bit, we can see also the Marlins are 9-25 and and have a 265 winning percentage. And uh, that winning percentage is also, I believe, lower than the Mets winning percentage at Game 32. However... The uh, Marlins are at game, they're not at game 32, they are at game 34. So, um, that's a little different. Um, but, the Rockies are at game 32, and they only have a 250 winning percentage, which is also below the New York Mets of 1962. So, we could have a very <coughs> epic baseball season here. Uh, with three teams finishing worse than the 1962 Mets. Now, I think of the three teams, the White Sox really have the best chance of doing that. I don't think the uh, Marlins will end up doing it, although they could. I guess they could. And so could the Rockies. I just feel like the Rockies and the Marlins have better personnel, better players than the White Sox have. The White Sox have clearly a minor league lineup. So uh, let's look at some of the stats because I got the stats here on my phone. Um, we're going to look at the batting leaders for the White Sox so far. Sheets is hitting 255. He leads the team. That leads the team. 255 batting average. Five guys are tied with only three home runs, and I know that uh, Paul DeYoung is one of those. Uh, Benintendi leads in RBIs with 13. Probably not very good. Um, let's see. Sheets leads the team in runs scored with 9. 9 runs leads the team. Sheets leads the team in on-base percentage with 349. And by the way, if Sheets is your leader offensively, you have a problem. <laughs> Um, Sheets leads in slugging percentage, 426. Sheets leads in OPS with a 775. And 775 is not that good. It's certainly not team leader material. Um, Sheets leads in hits with 24. Again, Sheets. You really don't want that. Um, so let's see here. Uh, Grossman leads in walks. He has 12. And, um, let's see. Vaughn leads in games with 30. He's played 30 out of the 32 games. Let's go to the pitching. Uh, the pitching, Fetty leads the team with a 260 earned run average. Now, that's actually pretty good. For a team leader, that's not too bad to have a guy with a 260 ERA. But for wins, Fetty leads the team also, and he only has two. Uh, Crochet leads in strikeouts, and he has 47. Um, Fetty leads in whip with a 107. And again, that's not bad. That would be pretty good for a, a team leader. Um, batting average allowed, uh, Fetty leads with a 212. Again, so Fetty is good. I mean, let's just establish that Fetty is good and the rest of the team is not. Um, so let's see, what do we got here? Any other interesting things? Um, no. Uh, 
earned runs allowed, Soroka leads with 24. He also leads in runs allowed, which is 24. It's the same number. Uh, Soroka also leads in hits allowed with 35. And with home runs allowed, two are tied with seven. So I think we can establish that the White Sox are in for an epically, epically bad season. A 188 win percentage. Let me just type that one into my uh, little calculator. I haven't done that yet. 162 times .188. They are on a pace to win 30 games. And, um, you know, I, that would be believable. That's believable that they could they could possibly finish the season with 30 wins. So, um, I don't know. What do you guys think? It's uh, it is it's very uh, very demoralizing. But then again, on the other hand, it's also kind of exciting because nobody has been as bad as the '62 Mets, except the whatever year. Cleveland Spiders, but that was a kind of a different thing, because the Cleveland Spiders were owned, they were one of two teams that were owned by one guy, and he took all of the good players on the Spiders and put them on his other team, which I believe was the Pittsburgh Pirates, um, or the Pittsburgh Pirates, or I don't know, I'm not sure, but I do know that the reason that that happened is because one guy owned two different teams, and Cleveland was the team that he decided to um, to rape of its good players and send to his other team. So that's a little different than every team being independently owned by a different owner and uh, trying to compete. And so, um, yeah. So leave me a comment. Give me a thumbs up on the video. That helps out. If you're not subscribed to the channel, subscribe to the channel. I expect to be talking about the White Sox all season long, especially if they keep up this um, biblically bad pace that they're on uh, for wins. And I expect that that's not going to get better unless they get better players quickly. Um, so, yeah, leave a, leave a comment, subscribe, um, you know. All the good stuff that helps out my channel. But for right now, that's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.